Do we have another one that's a lie? Should we just do the Gallup poll one? Let's do, let's play this clip. Here's Donald Trump. Since we have uh, Eric Alterman on the program, we're going to bring him on in just a moment. He's written a book, Lying in State, Why Presidents Lie and Why Trump is Worse. This is part of it. The guy lies about everything and with a, a fluidity that is uh, pretty stunning. What clip number is this? This is seven. This is seven. This is Donald Trump. He's going around. I don't know. Giving people COVID, I guess. Um, um, but this is where is he in the White House here? Yes. OK, this is not when he was in Wisconsin. All right. So here he is. There's Donald Trump um, desperately trying to uh, justify his COVID response. Remember, for like a number of months, he refused to wear a mask. Uh, because it was uh, it would ruin his makeup or something. And then, but prior to that, he was just denying that this thing was real. And here he is defending his COVID response by attacking Barack Obama with a poll that doesn't say what it says, what he says it says. Well, they got very bad reviews. If you look at the Gallup poll, Gallup poll did a review of them. Now, you have to understand that was a far lesser uh, vicious disease it was not the same in the same ballpark but let me yeah, yeah, know it's also one second they, the question they're asking is um um w what about how people responded to barack obama versus yours go ahead in the same ballpark but let me yeah, yeah i know it's also a much lesser disease but they got very bad reviews gallup gave very bad reviews and by the way gallup at that same time gave us very very good reviews for the job we've, we've done. So if you take a look at the Gallup poll from a couple of months ago, we got very good reviews and they got very bad reviews. They were, they were, I mean, the reviews they got for the handling of swine flu or H1N1, which Biden calls N1, H1, and I don't even correct him on that. I don't even correct him. I said, no, nah, that's a mistake uh, you can make, but uh, that's I what he calls did. it. He's I got the, he's got it a little mixed up, but that's all right. Take a look at the Gallup poll. And there were others, too. They got horrible marks. And that disease is a much lesser problem. OK. Mr. President, do you support protesters in Belarus? And do you have a message? Do I support protesters and terrorists? In Belarus. In Belarus. In Belarus. Oh, my God. Oh, I said protesters and terrorists. Yeah, with <laughs> Belarus. Um, just for the record, I mean, of course, uh, Gallup showed at the time that 66% approved of the Obama administration's handling of H1N1, which is actually sort of stunning because I, I would imagine there was at least 40% of the country that would not give him approval on anything. And of course, uh, Trump cites uh, his Gallup poll from <laughs> three or four months ago, uh, but Gallup now shows only 36% approve of Trump's response to coronavirus. And the surveys reveal even other surveys reveal other, uh, even lower numbers. Uh, but Donald Trump is a, I don't know, maybe he's a pathological liar. That would be a great question to ask our next guest, the distinguished professor of English from Brooklyn College City, University of New York, the liberal media columnist for the nation and uh, author of over 10 books. Eric Alterman will be right with us with Lying in State, Why Presidents Lie and Why Trump is Worse.